The Golden Cockerel. The opera of the same name by Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov is based on a poem by Alexander Pushkin. The aging Tsar Dodon grew weary of the constant wars waged upon his kingdom by his neighboring lords. The Tsar's army was skilled, but as losses mounted, he sought ways to thwart his rival's aggression. The Tsar's solution came when he consulted an old astrologer. The astrologer possessed a golden cockerel, of which he advised the Tsar to place atop the highest tower in his kingdom, where he would rest quietly until warning the kingdom of an enemy's attack from any direction. The Tsar promised to grant the astrologer one wish if the golden cockerel's magic powers would indeed warn of approaching armies. The Tsar had the golden cockerel placed on the highest tower of the land. Just as the astrologer promised, the golden cockerel never failed to warn the Tsar even of the slightest danger to his kingdom. Eventually, the Tsar's rivals gave up trying to attack. The kingdom and its people enjoyed peace for many years, and the golden cockerel stayed diligently on his perch. And eventually, the Tsar even forgot his pledge to the astrologer. One day, the golden cockerel began crowing uncontrollably and gesturing to the east. The Tsar sent his eldest son leading an army to battle the intruders. But eight days had passed with no word from them. On the ninth day, the golden cockerel cried out again, pointing to the east. This time, the Tsar sent his second eldest leading an army for battle. Again, eight days, nothing was heard from the son or his army. The Tsar assembled and led yet another army, traveling east for eight days and nights until they came upon a vast plain between two mountains. At the center of the plain was a huge silken tent. At the tent entrance, the Tsar found his two sons lying dead, their hearts pierced with their own swords. As the soldiers cried out in horror, the curtains of the great tent parted, revealing the slaughtered remains of the two sons' armies as Tsaritsa Shamaka emerged triumphantly. The Tsaritsa enticed the Tsar into her silken tent where she entertained him for seven days and nights. By the eighth day, the Tsar was so captivated by the Tsaritsa, he convinced her to return with him to his kingdom. On their arrival, they were met by the astrologer who reminded the Tsar that he was promised one wish and he requested to be given the enchanting Tsaritsa. Offended, the Tsar refused and instead offered other riches and treasures. The astrologer rejected the offerings and demanded to be given the Tsaritsa. In a rage, the Tsar bludgeoned the astrologer with his scepter, killing him instantly. Then the golden cockerel suddenly swooped down from his perch and ferociously pecked the Tsar in the head, killing him. The people of the kingdom who gathered to welcome their Tsar felt quiet at the horrific scene where the two men lay dead. And Tsaritsa Shimaka and the golden cockerel vanished, never to be seen again. <laughs>